cicadas are beginning to emerge in the eastern United States after spending the past 17 years underground. Meteorologist Angela Huddy reports that they are emerging into a very different world than they were born into. Cicadas are the soundtrack of summer, but this year a lot of insects will join the chorus. So there are thousands of species of cicadas and there's only seven species of periodical cicadas. Four of them uh, emerge every 13 years and three of them emerge every 17 years. This year, cicadas from brood X or 10, which last emerged in 2004, are emerging as far west as Illinois. Babies that hatched back then ate into their host trees where they feasted on sap and waited. They count years based on the actual sap nutrition like status. So trees sap is going to change throughout the year based on the resources it's getting. So they can basically say like, okay, it's been one year since now the sap has gotten worse and it gets better. When they finally come above ground, it's mating time. Males attract females by making loud clicking sounds using a muscle on their abdomen. So this courtship song, super loud, uh, incredibly loud. I mean, orders of magnitude, you know, like 10 times louder than like your your loudest uh, like washing machine. Cicadas are an important food source that actually may be why they emerge as one large group. One defense that works really well is just make sure you're with a bunch of other individuals and your chances of being eaten go way down. So these loud but important insects have been underground for 17 years. A lot has changed since then. Brett Seymour studies the effects of light pollution on animal behavior at the Living Earth Collaborative at Washington University. He says other insects regularly adapt to human impacts on the world. Certain insect species, for example, some moths, uh, have actually evolved to stop flying to artificial lights at night. But cicadas, which cue into temperature and ecological changes, don't have multiple generations a year to evolve through. Cicadas, that's 17 years. That's very, 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 very slow. I mean, that's that's human generation time. How are these insects going to keep up with the fast pace of global change due to humans? Um, and we don't know that yet. Angela Huddy, Fox 2 News.